this is a complete sabotage. You can see it. It's a sabotage. And any political party that will have some element of association with such activity do not worth being in our country. Tonight we will hear from the energy minister and examine the evidence as the CID begins a criminal probe after the hacking down of a grid coal pylon. This is Top Story with Evans Mensah. And Top Story is always brought to you by Born. Your success are passion. Also brought to you by Gas and Cement, the nation builder. Vodafone, the future is exciting, ready, and nationwide health insurance. A grid co pylon transmitting electricity was hacked down, cutting supply to thousands, possibly millions of homes. It is imagined tonight that that may be an act of sabotage with political motive. That is a disclosure being made tonight by Energy Minister John Pitamu, who himself visited the scene of that uh, pylon collapse. In fact, there is a committee that has already been set up and the CID, we understand, has been on the scene today collecting evidence. Uh, we have a man on the ground who has been covering this for us from all angles. Let's hear from uh, John Pitamu, the Energy Minister, who was on the scene today with officials from Gridco uh, looking at the distinct of damage uh, for himself and disclosing the, that apparently the state half guided intelligence pointing to sabotage and the targeting of more of these pylons across the country. How human beings can do this to our motherland. And any political party that will have some element of association with such activity do not worth being in our country. We have already detected that all the towers along this line, there are chemicals already being placed around them. The intention is to destroy them in future. We can't be subjecting our own country to this, to this reason. Why will merit somebody to do this? We are Ghanaian, a country that believes in common purpose, common destiny for Mother Ghana. We're all doing this just because we want to live a Ghana that is better for everybody to enjoy. So I don't expect us to be witness in terms of this nature. But I can assure you, we put in intelligence. There's a committee in place to start immediate investigation. And those perpetrators will be brought back. And we will make sure that we'll deal with them by the law. I will not associate myself with this. And I don't expect any political party living in this country to associate itself with this type of ha happening. It's not good for us. Has the police started investigating already? Yes, the police have started uh, investigation. National security is in charge. And we put in all necessary measures to make sure that we bring the perpetrators to work. When you say that this is uh, a, a, a political party is uh, associating itself with this, how do you mean? Well, everybody in Ghana is of political thinking. So when I say political party, I mean, you, you can belong to any political party. If you are a member of MPP as a political party and you associate yourself with this, which I say I would not, then of course it doesn't work. It. This is what I'm saying. But some have said that this is self-inflicted. This is a complete sabotage. You can see it. It's a sabotage. It's not self-inflicted to give government an opportunity for excuses as far as the... What, what, what government excuses? Excuses for what? Mm. For the, the chemicals they are putting along these towers? How can a civilized person do this to his or her country? What, I mean, this is uncalled for. What chemical have latest investigations? What, what, what no, chemical no, no, exactly? You can is, see is it yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, have a look at it yourself. Corrosive. But as a site corrosive. protected. It's a corrosive. As a site protected. Well, the site highly is supposed to be protected by our national you know, security. We expect some level of protection of national strategic assets of this nature. But, but you know, some of these things cannot be everywhere and every time. And some of these thieves, some of these animals in our society who do things, you know, just to outweigh the security. How, how, how quickly are we looking at to bring in this, uh, restoring this damage? Um, 
tower and restoring power to the affected area? Well, the, the team is in place. My um, executive, uh, chief executive is here, and I think they are putting measures in place. To make when you sure say there's a committee is set up to investigate, do we know what the membership or, of the committee is? And is this aside the police investigations around the power? No, the committee in place uh, to investigate is the internal arrangement from the, the Greco, you know, but the national security, the police, they are also, you know, using a, a different trend to you know, in the, the perpetrators. You yeah. mentioned that uh, along these lines, the, you we will take you around if you are interested. Chemicals are happening. being yeah. used across yeah. all of these lines. Is there something that's going no, to be done no. to sort of reduce the effect no, no, of the chemicals no. that are already Pre being precisely, used? Precisely, precisely. We, we're going to do that. Otherwise, there's going to be a disaster in this country if it continues what we are seeing now. There will be a disaster. Can you give us an idea of what the extent of damage really is? What do you think yourself? Look at it yourself. I mean, we are all In here. terms of the impact? Yes. Or, or it will well, this is country. severe. I mean, this should have a severe impact on our, you know, uh, uh, transmission lines. This is a huge tower you've seen being brought down, you know. So, of course, to have some amount of impact. But I can tell you, uh, our team, is, uh, they are making sure that they minimize the impact. Thank is there you. a timeline for the committee that's... Uh, I've just been joined on the telephone line by my colleague, Anis Menu, who was part of the team that accompanied the minister to visit the scene of this uh, hacking down of the uh, Great Coast pylon that has led to uh, blackouts in some parts of Tema. We'll bring you Great Coast's assessment of the extent of uh, damage and its effect on homes uh, as far as electricity supply is concerned shortly. But Ennis, you were at the scene. Um, first, describe what you saw. Evans, this is, you know, the, the, the pylons are mounted just close to the main uh, Gridco office at Sema. It is within the premises of, of Gridco. And you have a number of, you know, these transmission towers within a particular enclave. This very one was hacked at the base. And so you see that it, it's been chipped off at the base and it hit the uh, next tower close by. And so the, the technical guys tell us that if, if, if this is not checked, it could, it could affect the other uh, transmission towers, which are close by. And, you know, the other towers are even uh, more sensitive. This is a single line, they tell us. The others are, are double. And so if this is not checked, it could affect the other one. So this is chipped at the base. And these towers are the normal, you know, electricity uh, transmission towers we see very huge and 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 it was it was cut off at the base and that is where the problem is and you see just around this that some whitish you know substance around it the technical guys tell us that uh, it was meant to soften the metal so that it will be easy uh, to sort of cut the, met the, the, the metal and from what you've been describing and from what i'm hearing i understand uh, this chemical that you describe apparently uh the individuals who did this have been applying it for a while this is not exactly. a one-time thing exactly evans and we we were moved around we saw two other uh, uh towers that had this whitish chemical around it and it appears uh, from what they tell us this is done over a period uh, so that the metal is softened and then eventually they can sort of hack it um one one of the guys on the side told us that uh, they saw at the base of one of these towers a white bulletin bar containing this whitish, you know, substance, this chemical, uh, and it appears that they, they were they were moving around to to affect all the other um, to smear this chemical as it were on all the other uh, transmit uh, transmission towers around within the enclave. Evans. So from w what you describe sounds pretty scary. So what it means is that. Uh, the other pylons in this particular stretch may also be in danger of falling if steps are not taken to protect it now because they have the chemicals on them uh, and, and they may, the integrity may have been compromised. Absolutely. So at least we saw two of such, and these are the towers that the technical guys tell us are double transmission lines and so are, uh, are more sensitive. And, but we have been told that this quality bar containing the uh, 
uh, chemical, this white substance, has been handed over to the police CID as part of investigation. Uh, and I have seen pictures of the CID at the scene gathering evidence. I don't know if you met them there or would they accompany the, the team? We, we did not see the CID, uh, you know, or police officers there, but uh, the, they, they, they tell us that security has been intensified, beefed up uh, at the grid core office and also uh, at all installations or where, you know, at all areas where we have grid core installations. Mm -hmm. uh, they are beefing up security to make sure they protect the gadgets. Okay, and, and you just touched on the beefing up of security. Uh, is, that is what they're doing now to forestall further hacking down of these pylons, correct? Exactly, Evans. And um, we, in, in an interaction with, with the uh, grid core boss and some other officers who accompanied the minister on this tour, they tell us that they're trying to wash off um, uh, the, the chemical but also get, you know, uh, national security and other security agencies to, to update, uh, update them regularly. They used to have monthly updates, but this time around they're going to do it on a daily basis and more regular so that uh, they, they can protect the installations and make sure that uh, the, 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 the system is safe, Evans. This one, we're uh, lucky that it's gone this way. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. has gone yeah. to the other one, so its integrity is compromised. Okay. You see, this is a double safety tower. Yeah. It's carrying two. Yeah. So it makes it very, very important. This particular line. This yeah. one. The one with well is single. This is a double safety tower. Okay. But how sure are we that? So I think we need to quickly replace this. We must. Well, what do we do? So, so the linesmen are going to come around. We. We don't know what chemical is this, and we don't know what water will do to it, whether it will. So they are going to use hard iron brushes to try, try to take to, it out. Yeah, yeah, take this out. So that's what they will be doing later in the day. But currently, because of this, they are now patrolling all the towers to be sure of the numbers. We need to yeah, yeah, determine the numbers. Yeah. These are not the only installations, you know. We have some elsewhere yeah. between Accra, Winneba, so we don't know what people are doing, doing in, the, in the bush. But as I said, normally we go around every month and then they bring the report, so they will continue to be doing that and then they would be bringing the report. So I think you need to intensify the daily exactly. routine um, uh, yeah. monitoring. It's very important. We, we do that. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Mm. I mean, you guys are on top of the job, I know. So, uh, no matter what the perpetrators think, uh, this country, uh, we tried. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the best time to be a Ghanaian. We enjoy the benefit of being a Ghanaian now. The economic activities, the dividends of the good governance is clearly being shown by this, this particular government. And so I want to use this opportunity to encourage Ghanaians uh, just to exercise a bit of patience and examine the dividend that is coming uh, from the good work of His Excellency. Uh, I promise that this country will continue to grow. Every citizen of this country will continue to enjoy the benefit of this good work that the MPP administration is doing. And any sabotage like what we are witnessing today will not survive in this country. If you dare to destroy the activities and the work of the good people of this country, that person will not survive. Uh, thankfully, we've just been joined online by the Energy Minister himself, uh, John Pitamu. Mr. Amu, I'm grateful for your time here on Top Story. Thank you, Ivan. So, you, the, the, it's clear to me that there was evidence, there was some intelligence to this um, that pointed to the sabotage. Because I, I've just been asking around, the, the pylons that we saw... Um, what is the likelihood that it could, it, it, somebody could just... It, because other explanation could be, this could be thieves at work. But if you look at the pylons, and they will put their pictures up on myjoyonline.com, um, no thief will dare try and steal the wires or the cables because of the power that is in it. What's the nature of the intelligence that is pointing to this being sabotage? Well, for me, Evans, uh, this uh, saddened my heart. <laughs> if you are in a country that people are willing to... Uh, begin capturing uh, yet unborn babies, uh, pregnant women. Uh, people are prepared to start kidnapping. Then issues of this nature, <laughs> uh, it's something that Ghanaians should begin to watch carefully. It saddened me 
uh, why we should be witnessing this. It's a clear sabotage. It's, it's, your people were at the site today to, to say it. Uh, chemicals have been uh, placed around uh, some of the you know, 330 KV lines. We were very fortunate this particular one is the 151, uh, moving that power to the enclave of uh, uh, the, the, the Valco enclave. And, and so um, I, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm lots of words to, to describe what I've seen today. Um, actually, lots of way. We have never, as a country, a country that believes in common goal, unity of purpose for development, for its own unborn children, for the purpose of intergenerational equity, to build this country. We believe in building this country, irrespective of wherever anybody comes from, for some unknown criminals to do this to the motherland, the country you claim you belong to. It, it saddened me. And for me, I establish it. And I'm convinced beyond every reasonable doubt that this is a sabotage. It's a clear sabotage. But the people who are behind this will not survive because we believe in God, the creator of this universe. We believe in that God. And these perpetrators will be brought back to this. In the meantime, though, you, you indicate that there are criminal investigations uh, uh, institutions are already at work looking into this, in addition to a committee that has been set up internally to also probe it. Yes, this is having put in motion immediately. Uh, are we ruling out um, uh, theft as, an, as, an, as a possible reason why this will happen? Well, the outcome, it, it's clear when the outcome, the result comes out, we will know exactly what it is. But my own, uh, you know, uh, seeing what I've just seen, you know, today, um, I, I, I'm, I'm convinced that it's a sabotage. I mean, it's a clear sabotage. Uh, and is that a possible motive for this? Just to well, just to make the governor popular. Well, I. I, I... Hello, Miss Amu. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. We appear to have lost him on the line. Let's try and reconnect. Let's try and get him. Let's, let's reconnect. Let's establish a bit more into this. Uh, we also want to understand the extent of uh, of damage or like the 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 effect of this on homes because primarily Gridco transmits power and if the pylons have been affected uh homes will be affected as well um, um we'll try and get him we'll try and get him back do you have the energy minister back on we'll try and get an energy minister back on by the way gridco has been speaking to us about the extent to which what has happened today affects homes and they tell us that the power supply in parts of tema and its environs will be affected so what we are seeing here is on the 161,000 volt network. Somewhere after midnight, uh, our operators in the system observed that there was a fault on the lines here. Normally what happens is that there could be transient faults, which means that they happen momentarily and later they go off and they are able to restore the line. When they attempted to restore the line, there was a sound and they realized that there was permanent fault on the line and this was getting to 1 a.m. Um, so we suppose that a number of customers lost power around that time it affected car power ship for instance uh, which lost power so some customers in the ECG network went down at dawn so early morning our patrol team decided to go on the line and then they observed that the tower has collapsed in fact, one tower um, has, on the western side, has collapsed uh, onto a nearby um, tower on the eastern side. Thankfully, we've reconnected to the energy minister. Uh, Mr. Amu, I was asking what the possible likely motive for the sabotage could be. What to make government unpopular? Well, um, I think you are the best person with your experience if you begin to uh, give me the best thinking behind this irrational uh, acts that we are witnessing in this country. You, you admonished uh, political parties uh, sort of not to take make political capital out of this I, in the I national interest. Rule, I wouldn't rule that out, uh, simply because we live in a country that people are prepared even to capture pregnant women, to kidnap pregnant women, unborn children, destroy the destiny of this country. So I would not rule out that. In other words, we're not ruling out a, a, a possible political motive for the sabotage. 
That is exactly what I said. Mm. Uh, and let's look at the impact of this on because this affects real lives. Uh, when the pylons go down, electricity those supply. Criminals, those criminals, those criminals do not think like you and I. Mm. Those barbaric elements we have in this society are prepared to kidnap people. Do not think like you and I. They don't care for the destiny of this country. They don't care for your children, and so they can go to any length at all. They can do anything. Those are the people you have to fear. Those are the people that not to be, you know, associated with this, our noble society that we are enjoying. A society, a government that believes in rule of law, good governance, democracy, that we are all seeing, you know, the, 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 the credence, the dividends that everybody is enjoying. Barbaric activities of those natures want to destroy this country. They will not survive. Any particular group of political interest that you, you may suspect? You, you are the best person to know, please. And in terms of it, uh, the pylons went down. I know homes were affected because of the power cut. How extensive has the damage been in terms of the cuts to homes? Well, uh, uh, this particular tower is uh, running on the 151 kV. Uh, the one on the extreme left, the big one, is a 360. Fortunately, uh, that's a 330. That the 330 is unaffected. So this is uh, carrying power to, you know, the Valco, the port two terminals. And uh, there have been some slight disturbances. But as I stated earlier, on the technical team are on the ground. We're going to rectify it immediately. And we understand that the, there are other pylons that have also been targeted, and we are increasing patrols and security for them as well. But I'm also curious to know, are we expanding this investigation beyond these pylons to see if there are other parts of the country being targeted by these saboteurs? All, all strategic national assets, of course, should be a concern to every citizen of this country. And we must be our own security because the way these things are progressing, all our strategic installations, we need to be extremely careful and protect them. Every single person in this country has to take national strategic assets as their own assets. That is the way we need to do things right now. And so I can assure you that the security, although the security is on top of the uh, situation, you know, national security have been informed, the CID have been briefed, we as citizens ourselves must begin to take our own destiny. Uh, Mr. Mewu, I'm grateful for your time. So do you know when the uh, fix will be done so that areas affected uh, will, will, will start receiving power? By the time I left the site, I think uh, work is in progress and uh, as, as soon as possible. Yeah. As soon as possible. I'm grateful that you joined us. That's uh, the energy minister there speaking to us about the situation that uh, he found uh, with the uh, hacking down of a pylon. Uh, we can now speak to the chairman of the uh, Mines and Energy, no, the ranking member on the Mines and Energy Committee in Parliament, Adam Mutawakilu, joins us on the line. Mr. Mutawakilu, I'm grateful for your time here on, on Top Story. Uh, you just listened to the um, to the minister who says, one, it's sabotage, is convinced. Two, it's not ruling our political uh, uh, motives behind this. Your reaction? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good evening to our cherished listeners. Yeah, first of all, I want to condemn the act of any sabotage on the pylons or the towers because this is a national asset and we must protect it. Whatever may come, whatever may, we have to ensure that national assets must be protected by everybody, irrespective of your political colors or your political uh, affiliation. So the minority, we condemn it in no uncertain terms. However, in looking at it, I prefer we look at it in a non-political manner. The moment you try bringing in political issues, it turned out to be something else. And I, I want to believe that the issue of not ruling out political and so is not the... The, the minister who is supposed to come out. Investigation will start. I thought he would have left it for the investigators to do their investigation and come out as to who might have caused it. When it comes to investment in Greco, NTC has done a lot. Uh, we treat this as assets. And we ensure that all the projects that have been suspended as a result of Greco inability finance, because their accounts are so bad and therefore development partners are not willing to continue disbursement. We as minority 
has put pressure on government to ensure that GRICO functions well with good financial standing for these development partners to continue with the disbursement. And I made it clear the uh, Kumasi, Kintampo, uh, Volga, 330 KV has been suspended. It was started under the uh, NDC, $163.73 million because the ratios, the financial ratios of Gritco are not good. Mm. And the development partners have realized that Gritco might not be able to pay back because their liquidity ratio is 0.92 is to 1. So as a party, we believe that it is good to invest in national assets. Yeah, and, and what and, would you say? What would you say to those who will tonight, having had the minister point fingers at the NDC? Although the minister never mentioned the NDC, what would no, you say he to those who might rule out political activities? Yeah, he rule that out, but he didn't mention so any political, I, I political, political group. He needed not to even say that. He should just allow investigation to go on and conclude it. But what would you say I, to I, those who will point direct? finger at the NDC? I think they, they know very well that as NDC, that is not our habit of destroying national assets. No. Two, our criticism is not based on bringing up pylons. We said it is financial challenges. We have made it very clear. But but you understand but, why, why somebody will point a finger? Because the argument will be who stands to benefit if government receives bad press. don't look that is why I want and to go is unpopular. to the extra. I want to go to the extra mile. You see, we have almost indicated that the energy sector have financial challenges, and that is where I'm moving to the next step. That in their investigation, it shouldn't be limited to political. It should be widened and even within grid code. You see, an individual can be unhappy because for last year allowances. Grico hadn't paid their workers. So somebody can just suggest that for this sake, you, I'm going to cause disaster. So their investigation must be broadened enough and shouldn't be narrowed to political parties. I know staff in Grico at low morale. Their morale is very low because what they should, they, what is entitled them Grico is not able to pay. And, and, and this uh, are, mm -hmm. involves technical people. So an individual could, have that, could just decide to do such an act. Are you suggesting that this could be sabotage from Gridco itself? And I'm, I'm just saying that when they are investigating, they shouldn't limit to, to, to really be looking at political. It so but, so your, 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 your suggestion is that also probe Gridco staff who are grieved? I'm I'm, I'm just telling you that when they are doing it, they should broaden it. The scope. And start from their own office. And before they go and be talking of political, because these pylons carry very high power. I mean, and is it... Is an it, ordinary person yes, can just go and start... And remove it. And, and that is the question that I asked at the beginning of the minister, that uh, that quickly rules out, uh, you know, TV. Because we know that sometimes... People, thieves have attempted to, you know, bring down a pole to take the wire, etc. But this particular pylon, no. it's so impossible to do if you're not an expert in managing it. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So I think that we should broaden the investigation and make sure we get, get the culprit. The moment we start limiting it to policy, we give free uh, uh, time to other people to cause more harm. We never see sabotaging of pylons to be to the benefit of NDC. I am grateful that you joined when us. When there that is, is light off, we mm. all suffer. Suffer, yeah. Light when off it's doesn't. Our responsibility to criticize them and let them do the proper thing. I am grateful that you joined us. That is uh, the chair, the ranking member on the Mines and Energy uh, Committee in Parliament. If you're affected uh, by the by the by the power outages that had come uh, as a result of the uh, falling of the pylon, please let us know. Uh, Zero two four.